guys, so welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go ahead and do a battle of the setting sprays. The top two setting sprays, in my opinion, and it's the one size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray versus the Shard Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. These two, like, that is the only set of spray I feel like really locks in your makeup nowadays. But a lot of people always ask, like, which one is better? Which one do you recommend? I'm like, let me just go ahead and do a wear test for you guys and show you guys how they both act throughout the day. So I'm super excited about that. Ready to get into it. Of course, if you're interested, make sure you go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And let's get right into the video. So whenever I do a comparison video, I do like to touch base on price ounces and all of that that way you get the full scope of both products so the first one i do want to talk about is the one size by patrick star um mattifying waterproof setting spray this baby right here literally i think he did a wear test on tiktok and he jumped in the pool and his makeup was still snatched all right and it's so hard to find this y'all like whenever you go to sephora even online right now you cannot get this so if you do see it grab it in case you are interested so this is $32 and you do get about 3.4 ounces of product. Um, this one is the mini right here. So do not compare the size y'all because the full size of this one is 3.4 ounces. All right. For $32. Now, the Shard Silvery Set and Spray, you guys know I have been using this for years. I swear by this. You guys know how I feel about this if you watch my videos often. So this one here is $38 actually for 3.3 ounces. So if you guys remember, the Patrick Star one is 3.4 um, for $32 and the Shard Silvery is 3.3 uh, .3 for $38. So it's not really that much of a difference, y'all. Um, obviously, you get a little bit more with the Patrick Star setting spray so i do want to also touch base on their claims that's super important in terms of what they claim they will do for your makeup so the shard silver one is a hydrating alcohol and oil free spray that weightlessly sets makeup for up to 16 hours without melting fading or selling into your fine lines so i like that about it it is hydrating but at the same time it is mattifying i will agree with that um and it helps your makeup stay on all day and also on here it does claim that it's a flexible breathable film across the skin to keep your makeup in place supports a natural moisture barrier for soft hydrated skin and also blurs the appearance of pores so everything i mentioned in here i will agree with i love the shari tilbury seven spray you guys know how i feel about this one um, but then moving on to the Patrick Star one, this one here claims to be a waterproof set and spray that gives a skin all day matte finish. It also helps to tighten your pores and also absorb oil for a blurred matte finish. And it's an aerosol spray. And also one thing I do want to touch base on is I believe the one size has alcohol in it. So let me scroll down a little bit and see. So yes, it does have alcohol in its um, ingredients. It has about two things of alcohol that I can read so far in the ingredient list. So if that's something you wanna stay away from, definitely do not use this if you do not like alcohol in your skin. Um, alcohol um, kind of dries your skin out. It also tightens your skin, all of that. So it kind of makes sense how this, you know, keeps you snatched all day, if that makes sense. So these are the two setting sprays. I went ahead and did my makeup, y'all. I did not use an ounce of setting spray on the face. I will say honestly, y'all, it looks kind of snatched. Like, I was like, okay, skin. But I still want to go ahead and compare both of them for you guys. So, on this side, I'm going to use the Patrick Star setting spray, the one size setting spray. And then on this side, I'm going to use a Shard Silvery setting spray. So, let's get into it. This is the one size one. I told you guys it does have like an aerosol spray to it. Um, kind of reminds me of hairspray if I'm keeping it honest with y'all. And you can see how that performs, okay? So what we're gonna do is just set the face, like easy. So one thing I wanna point out with this one before I spray is I literally have to hold my breath because if I sniff this in, I start coughing and for some reason I just don't like that. Like I don't wanna cough. So I'm gonna hold my breath and then grab my fan and then you know talk to you guys after that. So let's just go ahead and spray with this and let's go. So right away, y'all can tell a huge difference, okay? Keep in mind, I have the same makeup on both sides, but y'all can see this side is a lot more shinier, a lot more glowy. This side, baby, is giving matte, straight matte, 
there's no oil peeking through even my highlighter looks a little bit less shiny than this side so if you've been looking for a setting spray to mattify your skin especially for the summertime right now obviously the Pactor star one just looks really good on the face um it just kind of tones down the oiliness and all of that um so yeah that's what it looks like it's always snatched it's always given um in case you're interested so now moving on to miss charlotte silvery i'm gonna go ahead and spray this side of my face and it just has like a regular you know nozzle in case you haven't seen this up close before but this is what it looks like all right i'm just gonna spray this side of my face like so and this side stays wet so when it comes to the one size setting spray you don't feel like any wetness on your face it just feels light and airy the charlotte one is a little bit wet so keep that in mind i'm just gonna fan my face so I think the side dried down and I will come up close to show you guys another comparison. Um, obviously the Charlotte side is just glowy um, and dewy, but it's not super glowy where it's like, all right, it's too much. It's just a perfect amount of dewiness to the skin, but you still look matte regardless compared to the one size. This side is just completely matte. Um, the only shine you see on this side is my highlighter. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, but it's currently 12.29 right now and I do want to wear this for a couple of hours and show you guys what this skin looks like towards the end of the day and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on the setting spray, which one I recommend and you know all of that. So yeah, let me go run some errands, do what I got to do today and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Alright, so I'm back and it's currently 10.53 y'all. I wanted to do a midday check-in but I was just so busy throughout the day y'all so 10.53 it is, but I want to show you guys my face at the end of the day. It was so interesting to see both sides. I didn't touch up. I didn't do none of that. This is raw <laughs> as it is. I want to blot so bad, but let me show you guys what happened throughout the day. So you guys remembered that on this side, I used the Patrick Star One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. And y'all can see in the beginning when I first sprayed it, it was super matte. Um, there was no oil peeking through all of that. I will say this. I feel like because it's so mattifying that there's no hydration in it. The thing with oily skin is like to combat it, you still need some hydration, some moisture. Um, when you use too many like mattifying products, it's actually going to produce more oil because your skin is screaming for moisture and hydration. And that's what's happening right here. I think y'all can see that like my skin, let me get a little bit closer, is so oily on this side, like really, really oily. I wasn't expecting that. Typically I blot throughout the day, so I really never get to this point. But y'all can see like it just produced so much oil in my forehead right here um even right here near my cheek so i was like okay all right now on the other side i don't know where my shard tilbury setting spray is but you guys know i sprayed it on this side and you will notice that on this side it is more matte and i'm like wait how does this make sense okay so i figured because if you guys remember when i was reading the claims the ingredients what it you know it's supposed to do for your face the shard silvery hydrates your skin but also locks in your makeup right so because of that hydration my skin didn't overproduce oil on this side do y'all see that so as i turn my face you can see all around this side y'all is pretty much flawless like a little bit dewy on my forehead but it is what it is at this point the skin is skinning on this side this side is a little bit it's just too greasy oily for me but when it comes to like actually locking in your makeup i think both sides do a great job like my foundation isn't slipping and sliding nothing is breaking down everything still looks good i know if i go ahead and blot which i'm about to because y'all this girl is oily right now when i go ahead and blot right my skin is still pretty much intact like look at how flawless my foundation looks and i'm not even using any powder i'm just using a brush by itself and y'all can see how much better the skin looks just by doing that so they both lock in your makeup they both make sure that it's transfer proof that it doesn't move 
Um, but when it comes to like the best one, I will still say Charlotte. I don't know where my setting spray is, y'all. I swear I had it. Let me actually go get it for you guys so you can, you know, physically see it. One second. So like I was telling you guys, this one, the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, in my opinion, out of these two, I will say this one is best. Like the fact that I went, I think it was like 10 hours, y'all, at this point, without blotting and this side looked flawless, that says a lot. That says a lot. Um, like I told you guys, they both lock in your makeup. So when it comes to like picking which one is better, honestly, I use both. So what I do is I go ahead and do my foundation, concealer, under eye powder, and bronzer, right? And midway through my routine, I do spray the um, Charlotte Tilbury Silent Spray just to hydrate my skin, get rid of all the powders, you know, all of that. But at the end of my routine, I go ahead and use a one size setting spray to lock in my makeup. And I notice that my skin always looks good when I use both of them. So that's just how I use it in my routine. And I'll continue doing that moving forward regardless. Okay. But yes, it was really shocking just to watch both sides throughout the day. I was like, Ooh, like this side is doing this and this side is doing that. But they're both really great setting sprays. But if I was to pick just one out of all of them, I will pick the shards every one, okay? And your girl has oily skin and it still looked really good. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and the weird test. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you prefer the one size or the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray? Let me know down below. But um, yeah, it is late at night. Your girl is gonna go ahead and make some cookies. It's so bad, I shouldn't be eating this late, but I'm hungry. Um, but <laughs> anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.